Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson we continue studying some easy mental subtraction methods. First of all, we're gonna add to subtract. And think of it this way, I have here an addition problem that I call a how many more addition. 86 plus how many more makes 91. I hope you can see the answer, not the answer, it is 5. Okay? But from each addition we can always write a subtraction problem, which in this case would be, for example, 91 minus 86. That would be a matching subtraction problem for this addition. And the answer is this 5. Okay? I'm not going to write it quite yet. Because when you see just the subtraction problem, you can think of the difference of these two numbers. You can think 86 plus how many more makes 91. Or you can think of a number line that you are at 86 and then how many jumps till you get to 91. So the answer is 5. And here's another. This method works the best when the numbers are close to each other, such as here, 44 and 39. So you can think of 39 plus how many more makes 44. Let me write that. It's the how many more addition. You think that way. You are at 39 and you make jumps to 44. So how many jumps? The answer is 5. So the answer is 5 to the subtraction 2. Try this on your own. 62 minus 55. Think of the difference between these two. Or think of being at 55 and jumping to 62. The answer is 7, right? 90 minus 84. Or 84 plus how many more takes you back to 90? It is 6. 101 minus 99. The answer is 2. And then la the last one, the answer is 3, right? Next, subtract in parts. And we have done that already in the previous lesson, but this time we are doing it with two-digit numbers. 66 minus 24. One way to subtract mentally is to think of it as 66 minus 20 first. And then you subtract the 4. So 66 minus 20 equals 46. And then subtract 4. 46 minus 4 is 42. Let's do it again. 78 minus 35. 78. Minus, and then you subtract this in two parts. First, 30, then 5. Or maybe first 5 and then 30. Whichever way you prefer. 78 minus 30. That's easy. It is 48, right? This here is 48. And then 48 minus 5 leaves you with 43. Here we do almost the same. We again subtract in parts, but we're going to subtract tens and ones separately. Let me show you. 99 minus 63. I basically think of 90 minus 60, okay? And I think of 9 minus 3. The tens and ones separately. And this works sometimes. It doesn't always work for all numbers, for all subtractions, but it works this time. 90 minus 60. This here is... 30, and this here is 6. So the answer is 36. Let's try it again. 65 minus 42. Think of the tens. 60 minus 40. That should be 20. Yeah, 20. And then 5 minus 2, which is 3. So we get 23. And this method fails if you cannot subtract your ones, like 5 minus 2. If you had here 5 minus 7, then you could not use this method. For these two, use whatever method you want to, but subtract mentally. Seventy-four minus thirteen. Okay. 70 minus 10 would be 60, and then 4 minus 3 is 1, so we get 61. 
66 minus 52. Okay, maybe we go, maybe we think of the difference. That's what I tend to think in this one. 52 and add back how many to get to 66? And the answer is I have to add 10 and 4, or the answer is 14. Lastly, I want to solve this puzzle. Oh, me and Matty, we'll solve it together. And um, in case you haven't seen these kind of puzzles before, it has two unknown numbers, two mystery numbers for us to solve. One number is this triangle, and the other one is this square. If we add these two numbers, we get 16. If we subtract them, we get 6. And the idea I want you to try is to just guess and check. Okay, Matthew, do you have a guess? Okay, he wants to guess 8 and 8. Let's try 8 plus 8. That makes 16. That's a good guess. And now let's check if it fits here. If I put 8 here, minus 8. 8 minus 8. That makes 0. So that does not work. So, Matthew, sorry, your guess did not work. Okay, but I'll write 8 and 8 here anyway, so we remember it didn't work. Anything else? Well, how about 7 and 9? 7 plus 9 makes 16, but 7 minus 9 is not 6. So that does not work either. And 9 minus 7 would be 2, that wouldn't work either. What else could we try? Aha, how about 10 and 6? Yeah, 10 and 6. And um, as we try these different numbers, we are hoping to get closer and closer to the right ones. 10 and 6 makes 16, and then 10 minus 6 makes 4. That's much closer than when we tried 8 minus 8, because that was 0. So 10 minus 6, 4. It's not working, but it's closer. So let's just change these numbers just a little bit. If I change this to 11, then this needs change to 5. And now I get 16 here. 11 minus 5 works here too. Aha! The puzzle is solved. And we're all done with this lesson.